Okay, here we go, folks. And you know, some of the beauty of the game is actually... Some of the beauty of the game are things that happen outside of an NHL rink. Although, a lot of cool stuff does happen there as well. Um, but here, let's just take a look. And we got some goofy kids doing some goofy stuff. Here we are over, uh, this is me, my uncle, and my cousin over here. I'm gonna do a little training. But, <laughs> these kids are doing some zany stuff. And you can see the players down there in the end. But watch this little minion with the puck right now. This kid is good. Yeah, these kids were doing this the whole time. Like, that, that's, I mean, that's not bad. It, it is good. You know, John Blum, <laughs> before he went to the NHL, you know, he started training by pulling sleds. Now, he's 8 feet 11. Um, so here we are, trying it in the middle. And that guy's full of equipment. And this little minion's out there just... Look at, he's ready for the one team. That's so selfish. But he scored. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're playing a game of just passing the puck around through these kids. I think my stick might be messed up. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head, Charlie. But he, he's pretty good. He's pretty confident with the puck, as you see here. He likes to walk his dad. <laughs> he gets a kick out of that play. Give me that. I'm like, yes, I used to be able to play this game with these kids down here. Now I just glide around and look fat out there. Rack job from the little minion. Chopping it up about the old times. And I'm explaining how my young cousin needs to be training like these like these kids in the neutral zone here. He's using the wrong techniques by working on stick handling and skating. And <laughs> it's to be dragging something. I mean, that's good. That will definitely help your leg strength. No doubt about it. And like these kids, they're in there. These kids are playing year round. So, good luck, you know. If your kid skates one night a week, you know, a couple times for for a few months now and you think he's gonna be able to play with the Michigan boys. I mean not that there's anyone special except for that little child. Yeah, in the white hoodie. That kid's probably something special. Look at he just stole the puck. Yeah, I'm just like a planted tree. No hands. 
Okay, at least I, I can only make a pass. And I'm wondering, okay, that's the first time he hit one of the kids, but not the last time. Here's Charlie. Yeah, he, he's, he's got pretty decent hands. Um, you know, we didn't get a chance to work on our shot. And he likes that through the legs move. Probably not going to be too effective on any good defender, but it is fun to uh, to slip. He looks like he's got some decent handles out there. Stick handling is crew, and that guy, look, I'm showing my typical play where I go through the legs into the corner. That's my, probably my go-to more than anything. His dangle into the corner. Yeah, look, yep. Let's get back to this kid who, who might, uh, might go places. Charlie gonna hit the kid in the head. Oh, we're gonna pick a photo. Alright, that's good. Now I'm gonna teach Charlie the foot pass. Which is not really a good thing. <laughs> I mean it is, but uh, What I can't do is a good sauce pass to the tape. There's Ferguson to Ferguson, the younger. And there's another minion with a U of M shirt on. I mean, these kids are pretty young. But if your kid's out there, Day in and day out, playing, messing around, that's how you get good at hockey. I mean, you also have to understand the game, but as far as like, yeah, like all these little passes they're making, all that stuff, like that's, look at their control and their vision, like they're playing a small game, and that's really what the game is. If you can play that small, you can probably make a long pass, too. Look at this kid! Look at him, he's keeping it in the zone! Oh my god! He's using the blue line! Oh wow, he came out there, but... Charlie's definitely getting the hang of it. He's a squirt now. I wish I could get my sauce back. I mean, having my leg back would be nice and like being able to skate normally again. That's really, I mean, I relied on that heavily in that game. So not having that is been, it's really set me back as far as how I can contribute. Now I'm just a weak four checker and defender like everyone else, so all the upside is gone. The only thing I can do is pass on him. Yeah, so he's, you can see Charlie's trying to flick it. And then there's my bad pass right back at him. Yeah, and it's it's actually you have to draw the blade across the puck and like gently almost like elevate it. Yeah. You can see he's starting to get it. 
and I will never probably ever do that. But it's kind of like a wrist shot, but it's more you relax your hands and pull your hands across your body. Yeah, see, he's like kind of flicking it. He's doing a light flick. So, I mean, it, I've been working on it for years, and I still can't put it. I mean, it's 50-50. Will it be a good pass? Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, see, we're getting some flow going here. Look at the children, though. <laughs> like, this is it's hilarious to me how much fun these kids are having without a puck. Like, they're not even playing hockey. They're just... And if your kid grew up doing this, he's probably going to be a pretty good hockey player. I don't know. He might be shooting pucks at the camera. <laughs> no respect for the live bar. Nice drop pass to the minion. Yeah, it's just good to, I mean, it's good to skate. Uh, I feel like you need to skate like every day almost. Just to keep your skating legs. At least, at least two, and I really want to say three times a week. Like three times a week. Otherwise, you're like me, passing in between two people at a casual event, not mind a game. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at minions wide open in the slot, stick on the ice. Like, give me that. Give me that, he says. Great pass, quick pass, didn't even think. Just instant pass. Kind of, but it's not even near his tape, JT. It's right in the area where you can't catch it. Charlie doesn't like the stick in his way, but it's part of the game these kids are playing. No one understands it but them. <laughs> oh, there it is, and Charlie just domed that kid in the light blue. gotta watch out for the little kids even though Charlie's a little kid himself he's just big I like the goalie here that's what I need to do for my goaltender yeah, and just back to the flip pass. There's no... It's like the last thing you need in your game to be good. But... There it is. Just get used to it, because that's where all my passes are.
almost fell over a notch in the ice there. Yeah, I was really glad to get to skate today. Charlie wants that flip. Target there. Yeah, he's got good pass reception. Uh, pretty good vision. I mean, you'd have to see his vision in game to really. I mean, that's where you can really make your money. But he's a big kid, so that, that, that'll help him. You know, who knows how big he'll end up being, but. Oh, and he dangles his cousin. 